Hello friends, this is Umesh and in this video I am going to cover a procedure to install softwares to program AVR microcontrollers. So I already have downloaded the softwares in this folder on my desktop you can see softwares. So let's open this folder and you need Atma Studio and you need Extreme Burner from Extreme Electronics. So let's close this folder and let's open your browser and uh, in this um, now I'm going to show you where should we get this software so let me uh, a vast virus database has been updated six. free to download and you will browse to this official link click on it and you could see that um, there is a new version version 6.2 um, I have downloaded version 6.1 so if you are uh, new then you can click on this download now box and you can download this activities okay but as I already have downloaded version 6.1 and just because I don't have enough time to make this download and then install I think I would prefer to go with 6.1 installation but you can do procedure would be the same and uh, another one is you need a extreme burner for AVR so let's put extreme extreme electronics and the first search query and then you will see um, here USB AVR programmer so hit on that you can also see there is a specification about uh, this product and uh, you just have to click on programmer software extreme burner AVR make sure that it's for AVR and uh, then I think somewhere here you can see extreme burner AVR hit on that and you get the setup so click on save file and then you will download this I'm not going to show this whole thing but basically the idea behind this uh, steps to show you is to to tell you that where should you get this uh, software okay so once you have downloaded this you can do just like what I have done I have put it on my desktop so let's go and install Atmel Studio Framework so double click on it it would take quite a while because it's a little bit big setup and uh, it use a memory of your computer so definitely you have to wait for a while I think it's also because I have started an applications to capture my screen to make this video so that's also one reason why this uh, takes quite a lot of time for me but for you I think it should not take this much time so I just hope that it will pop up now and you see now this dialog box has been popped up so click on yes you have to follow very simple steps as like any other software you have installed on your PC system but I assume that you are completely beginner so I want you to go through all those steps Oh my gosh, this my system is really getting very slow. I don't know why. 
I just really hate to wait, but I have no choice. Then waiting. here it is so it shows like uh, your installation wizard has been setting up the environment at the background And here you get your welcome window. So setup wizard will install Atmos Studio 6.1 on your computer. So hit on next and then it asks you to accept the terms. So make sure that you have selected I accept the terms of license agreement and then hit on next. Then it asks you for path and it should be somewhere in the C in program files. So that's fine for me and hit on next and it tells you that the plugins that we're going to install with the with the standard Atmos Studio 6.1 setup so hit on next and uh, now it will take again quite a while so if you don't really like to wait you can go to drink coffee as like me um, I prefer to go for coffee once it's done I would come back Okay, so at this moment we have completed, so we don't this radio box and then click on finish. And uh, if we look at the desktop, you will find this Atmos Studio 6.1 has been installed on your computer. So the next step is we need to install Extreme Burner for AVR. So before installation, this is quite a bit tricky. So if you are installing this software first time you have to make sure that your hardware should be configured properly. So very first step before we get installed to the software is we have to connect our hardware first to the computer. So I'm just going to take my programmer and plugging into my system. So I hope you have heard the noise and you see installing device driver software so it takes a quite a while again and uh, it, it's very important to understand that we have to connect our hardware first and then we have to run this setup so just double click once it's done it will definitely show that um, it should not recognized because um, the software is not loaded into the, to the system so it doesn't matter it's not so important for us at this moment so what we're gonna do this moment is to run the setup so double click on it so 
it's, it shows like USB ASP device driver software installed successfully yes if it's not showing in your PC then don't worry because I already have used this uh, hardware with my computer so for me it maybe took a previous uh, firmware for that but for you you have to follow this procedure so remember I'm, I'm repeating again first you have to connect your hardware to your system and then you have to run the setup that's what we are going to do here so hit on yes and then you have uh, this uh, dialog popped up and it also says the same thing please make sure that USB ASP is plugged into USB before proceeding that means this USB ASP is the kind of firmware that is loaded in your programmer's chip so you don't ok and then click on next and it browse you through the to the location of your software so definitely it should be in somewhere in the C drive and I'm happy with this location so I click on next next and create a desktop icon hit on next and click on install and I don't think it will take uh, so much time so I think that's all done so hit on finish and you can see it just automatically opening the software so here we go we have this extreme burner installed in our system and we have Atmel studio 6.1 installed in our system so let me close this so in next video we will be seeing that how we are gonna write our very first demo example so we will be going to write our first program demo example code with Atmel studio 6.1 and we will be using extreme burner to load our hex file um, that is the output from the example code we will be loading our hex file to the microcontroller's flash memory using extreme burner and by this way you will be going to program your microcontroller chip i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining and see you in the next video